In the annals of rock history, few album covers are as iconic as Nirvana's Nevermind. Released in 1991, the album not only propelled the band to superstardom, but also etched the image of a naked baby swimming underwater, reaching for a dollar bill, into the collective memory of music fans worldwide. But who is that baby, and how has his life been shaped by this now legendary image? Baby in question is Spencer Eldon, born in 1991, same year the album was released. At just four months old, Eldon was photographed for the album cover by family friend Kirk Weddle, a photographer who was commissioned by Nirvana's label to create a unique and memorable image. Photograph was taken in a swimming pool in Pasadena, California, with little Spencer's parents receiving a modest $200 for the shoot. At the time, no one could have anticipated that this innocent photo would become one of the most recognizable and controversial images in music history. The Nevermind album cover, with its stark juxtaposition of innocence and the pursuit of money, captured the angst and disillusionment of the early 90s, perfectly complementing the raw grunge sound of Nirvana. It resonated deeply with the generation, helping the album sell over 30 million copies worldwide. Spencer Eldon, meanwhile, became an unwitting part of music history. As Eldon grew up, he began to understand the significance of the image he starred in as a baby. Over the years, he embraced his unique connection to Nirvana's legacy, participating in several reenactments of the photo as he aged, albeit with swim trunks this time. These reenactments were generally light-hearted, showing Eldon's willingness to lean into the fame that had inadvertently followed him from infancy. However, as time passed, Eldon's feelings about the photograph began to shift. In 2021, as the 30th anniversary of Nevermind approached, Eldon filed a lawsuit against Nirvana, its surviving members, and other parties associated with the album. He claimed that the image constituted child exploitation and that he had suffered emotional distress as a result of its widespread use. The lawsuit sought damages and requested that future uses of the image be censored or altered. Eldon's lawsuit sparked widespread debate. On one hand, there was sympathy for his claims of exploitation. After all, he had no say in the creation of the image that would define his life in many ways. On the other hand, critics pointed out that Eldon had previously embraced the fame that came with being the Nirvana baby, even capitalizing on it for various projects and media appearances. Some questioned the timing of the lawsuit, suggesting that it was motivated by a desire for financial gain rather than genuine distress. The legal battle has brought Eldon back into the public eye, though not necessarily in a way he might have hoped. His case was ultimately dismissed in 2022, with the judge ruling that the claims of child exploitation were not legally valid under the circumstances. Despite this, Eldon's story remains a complex one a tale of how a single image can come to define a person's life in unexpected and sometimes unwelcome ways. Spencer Eldon's journey from a four-month-old baby in a swimming pool to a symbol of one of the most influential albums of all time is a testament to the power of imagery in the modern world. It also serves as a reminder of the complexities that arise when art, commerce, and personal identity intersect. As Nevermind continues to be celebrated by fans old and new, the story of the baby on its cover remains a fascinating, if somewhat troubled, footnote in the history of rock music. After the lawsuit, Eldon chose not to speak much to the media, although he remains a subject of attention, especially among Nirvana fans. He has stated in previous interviews that he could never truly escape the shadow of that photo, even though he has sometimes tried to embrace it by participating in recreations of the image in the past.